Okay, we're back again. We're back for another hunt. Uh, this time, uh, compliments of my buddy Curtis. He has got us a permission. Y'all know David. Say hi, David. Hi, David. Uh, we got a permission this time. Somewhere up here in the woods here is uh, supposedly an old inn or hotel that was here from the 1920s. We think maybe it was torn down in the 20s. Uh, we're really not positive. We have not had much luck with aero maps pinpointing exactly where it was. So right now we're kind of in an exploratory mode. Uh, we are in a small town in Mississippi and we're just, we're going to look through this. We got about 200 acres, but we, <laughs> we don't have to look at all of it. We think it's kind of here nearby. So for right now, we just want to welcome y'all. Thanks for coming by and stopping to see what we're doing. And we're going to go see if we can find this thing and we'll update you on what we find. And uh, we'll talk to you later then on that. Everybody say bye. <laughs> but that's the only thing that might. Now that's a cool, is that a paver? I don't know. Curtis found some kind of, maybe, how far off the road is that? Maybe 10, 15 feet up on the other, up right up in there. Okay, all righty. So, I don't know. Groovy. Let's see if we can find any other signs. Curtis has found some steel. David's finding lids over there. Supposedly, one of our clues is a big birch tree, or beech, beech tree. That's a big tree, but I don't know if it's a beech or not. There's a uh, tall one. I don't know if it's old, but uh, there's a white barked, what I would call a birch tree back there. Look at this mound. Look how quick this, look how quick this hill goes up. Look at the mound on this hill. I mean, look at that. What'd you find, Curtis? I don't know. It's a hunk of steel. And it's a hunk of hunk of steel. Bottle, maybe the '60s or something. Okay. Where's the poison ivy? All this stuff right here on the ground. See, there's your, there's your, there's your beech tree right there. See that, see that one right there, right straight through there. That it's big gray. one. It's got all the lumpy stuff on it. Yes. You're talking about the big one with the fork. It's, uh... Well, we're just kind of wandering around, trying to find this thing. I'm getting a, I'm getting a, like an 11, 12 here. I'm gonna dig this, and it's my first dig. So I like to show my first dig. We'll see what this thing is. Who knows? Probably a pull tab. <laughs> Check back with you. Okay, all that was was this thing. And don't ask me to tell you what it is. It's got a hole in it. It's like a little L bracket of some kind. Don't know how old it was. It was about four inches deep. Ring up as a 12 on the mine lab 800. Oh well. Okay, the second thing I found was some old pieces of, uh, well, I'll show you one. Some old pieces of scrap came out of this hole. It was only registering an eight on the mine lab. Just some of this junk. So uh, I'm gonna cover this hole back in and I'm gonna search that clearing down there. A leaf falling caught my attention and when I spun around to look at it, I noticed this clearing back here. For some reason, there are no trees. Was that an old road? I don't know. I'm gonna go check it out. Let's see if I can catch up with David and them. I'm taking this old uh, logging road back. I think that's what it was. And I think that was what that clearing was up there. There's some signs of uh, garbage. <laughs> I don't know what that was. It's like some cookware almost. Um, I need to get back over here to Curtis uh, and David. I think this is that road winding around. Whoops, this is where it goes on up the hill. I need to go back down. Hang on, I'm booting down. Okay, took a small break, got some chips, some water. I'll try to find the other guys. Well, I don't know where the guys went, but this is a gorgeous area. I think this might be the huge beech tree. 
And then he said the spring was up 50 feet from it or so, which is there. And he thinks the hotel was kind of on up that way. And David was saying this is the kind of tree people like to carve their names in. Yo, David! And there's something here, a concrete pillar. Maybe this... I'm going to have to hunt this little creek. I never get to hunt creeks. Maybe this concrete pillar here was a silo or sewage or an outhouse or something associated with the inn. That's got to be it. I don't know. It's huge. And that looks like a spring. Or like it could be a spring. Maybe this was the spring. This thing right here. No, it's coming from upstream. Anyway, it's just really gorgeous stuff. And I'll probably be taking some screenshots from this for my for my video. Might get that thumbnail right there. Anyway, I'm gonna get down here in this water and see if I can find something cool. I'll let you know what I find. Huh. Am I operating? Okay. Well, that's a 2530. But it's saying it's really deep. Isn't this cool looking? This is a neat little spot right here. That thing may be in part of the old inn. Who knows? I'm getting some good signals here. I could, it's hard to operate this thing. Let me see if I can do this. Let's see how this works. No, this doesn't work too good. Sorry, I'm using the handheld, the wrist mounted thing. I'm getting some high signals here, but man, they're deep. I'm gonna see what some of these are. If I find something cool, I'll let you know. This is cool scenery right here. Hey guys, here's another something. I left my shovel, so I went back to the car to get it. And coming back along this creek that I'm following to get up to just where I was up there, I noticed this structure. I wonder if that was part of an old bridge. Probably a footbridge that used to go across this creek. So where's the other half? <laughs> but maybe it was part of the foundation of this inn we're looking for. I don't know. I'm gonna I've got a good signal up there. I'm gonna go back and try to see what it was. Keep you posted. That's something in this hole. It's kind of deep. I found this piece of glass already, but I say that wasn't it. There's something up here too. I'm getting some 13 and 14 signals. Stay tuned. Wow, that was a lot of digging. <laughs> I did all that digging. And the signal kept getting wider and wider. I should have known it was something big. So I dug that hole probably a foot deep. And here's what I pulled out. This big piece of pipe. Now, that may have been part of the old inn, or some of their plumbing. I mean, or maybe it's just a piece of junk. But I'm gonna set this here and collect it on the way out. I am not carrying <laughs> that thing all the way around, but I will take it out. It will be in the ugly category. You know what I'm talking about, if y'all been following. Whew, filling this hole back in. Okay, I was digging another hole that the mine lab told me was shallow. I had like two little depth indicators, but ended up going about a foot on that one on a, just a 14 signal. But I thought it was shallow. That might be that large elm or birch tree. It's big, but I don't think you can see it from the road. That was one of the requirements. Uh, so what I got, what I got this time was the leftovers of a bucket lid. Actually, it was solid. I just tore it apart. So. I'm just gonna dig high 20 signals now. I'm tired. All right, I was getting a, what signal was I getting? I was getting a 
Let me see what I was getting here. Hear how good that sounds? That's like a 32, 33. There's this nail. <laughs> Just a rusty looking nail. I'm not sure why it's ringing up that high. Maybe there, I don't know. I'm not sure why it's ringing up that high, but it was a false probably. So that explains it. Just a nail, but I'm up here above the, the creeks down there and I came up here really to hunt around that big tree over there. And just kind of looking at this area, it's kind of flattish and not a whole lot of trees. Maybe they're younger trees, so maybe this would have been the area. I don't know, we're still looking to try to find the area where this end was. Check you later. Okay, I was just digging in this hole, and then I moved over to this hole because I got a signal. I was just kind of rescanning the area before I filled it back in, and this thing rang up a really nice signal, as you can imagine. It's really solid. I don't know how long it's been here or even what it is, but it has not deteriorated at all. So I'm going to say it's some alien technology. Uh, yeah, check that off the bucket list. Well, I found an, uh, I've got an alien technology spill going here. The hole I just covered up, I moved right over here. Got a really high signal, real similar to the one I just got. And I thought, hmm, that's another one of those things. And it was pretty much the same thing, whatever it is. It almost looks like a gas cap thing where you'd put it in the, screw your gas cap in. I don't know. If you know what that is, drop us a comment. I'm going to put it on my friendly metal detecting form. They helped me ID something one time, so I'm going to throw this out there probably. Anyway, on to the next one. Well, we finally hooked up again. We're all in the same area of the forest. I dug this lovely thing. I know that's not, that's a 30. It's a 30? What is that, a can? Just a can a lid. Let me see if I can help you, hang on. Hang on a sec. Oh yeah, I forgot I had that thing in my pocket there. Right there. It's right there. Somewhere. Looks like a, is that a nail right there? Yep. Yep. Found it. Is that a square nail? No, it's a piece of rebar. Oh. Well, that's cool. I don't know if I can see it with this. Hang on. It's got little ribs on it. Oh, it sure does. Oh, yeah. My pointer likes it too. Hang on. Yeah, that's why these are so nice because they keep you from digging. Sometimes. If you got them set real sensitive, yeah. put that in your ugly yeah. department. Here, I'll take it back. Yeah, yes. You will get credit I for it. That axe head you know, I threw that axe head. Hey man, I might care if it's solid gold or a, yeah. you know. <laughs> you kept the axe head, right? Coin, or a ca yeah, cash of coins. Well, I've got a fence of fame. All the uh, fans know what the fence of fame is. So I, if, look at this thing over here. Isn't that interesting? It oh, looks like didn't look at the initial it, things carved all over that tree. It looks like it stays full of mud. It, well, it looks like animals have gone up in and it. And there's a tree over there that's got a, like over there, those are, those are all full of water. Hmm. So the they're either sucking up an awful lot of water and dumping it out there, <laughs> or there's uh, something. I don't know. That's weird. That, what I know about that, you could you Stick your hand in there. <laughs> David's way down the stream there. Let's go see if he's having any luck. Oh, stop it. Oh. Hey, David, what you finding? I found a uh, Georgia 12 button. Oh, right. And I found a uh, piece of I found a hinge. I threw it over there in that bank. And I found something else. Uh, let me see. This is one of the clues, right, that we were told to find this place. A huge beech tree, cool tree with a spring 
in it. There's a spring in this tree. <laughs> it comes underneath it. So he ain't running out of water no time soon. That's cool. It's like that movie Pumpkinhead. <laughs> you found a hinge? I found that hinge. I threw it over there. And that is the pipe because beside that pipe, water's spewing up. Oh, it is? Out of the ground, right next to that pipe. So you think that was a spring or it's a well? It's like the probably the well. Oh, cool. Cool. You said a hinge. I found a harmonica reed. You did? Oh, that's cool. I found something like that once. I wasn't sure if it was a reed or not. Not here. Well, that's cool. Yeah, you know what my thoughts are is that if people played around in the water, yeah. Eventually, that stuff's going to settle and could, the storm is pushed down here. Yeah, I'm looking in these corners that are lower, the curves that are lower than the next part that's dry or wet yeah. to Don't see. But most of my signals so far have been foolers. And this thing, I keep getting rusty pieces of stuff. I'm just going to come over here and hit that side. As soon as I hit this right here, I'm going to head into that bottom right there. Well, I'm going to go check with Curtis again so we don't get two uh, lost from each other again. <laughs> he found a piece of rebar so far. That is just the coolest thing, that little stream there. Yeah, it is. I might put that, uh, I might just loop that. You could record it and help you sleep at night. Awesome. Now we were speculating about whether this was the well or not, because that was supposed to be one of the things too, is that the tree had a well close to it. And David noticed, look at this, that there's water still coming out of this thing, bubbling up. I don't see why it's not just gushing out the top, but it's, it's still coming out of there. So we're thinking maybe this is the well that was used. There's Bigfoot, no, that's David. Okay, this was a very shallow 11. Is that horse tank? I don't know. It's in real good shape. And surprised it didn't ring up higher than 11, given it's a big circular thing. It's easy to find Curtis. His detector sounds like a bee buzzing around. <laughs> Let's go see what he's finding. There's no shortage of targets, is there? I know, but I'm getting a 70 and 83 right here, which seems to be awful high. Yeah? Let me see what it comes up for mine. On the mine lab. 84 just now. Okay, mine is going right there. Yeah, somewhere in that. No, more over this way. I'm getting. Were you right here? No, I was really more right in here. Well, mine's saying it's a... It's all over the place. Probably you, you, hear, your trash, like, you hear the thump thump? Where, That's where, iron. Yeah, where it's coming off. That thump thump is iron. Now if I turn iron off... I'm getting like a 13, 14 now, sometimes a two. Whatever it is, it says it's sort of shallow. I'm guessing it's iron. Unsanitary water. Yeah. And you want to do it. Uh, well, Kurt, We're okay, right? Curtis will have to, uh, Curtis, if I draw my hand back, you, you, You're gonna slap you might, you uh, you he knows, what the deal is it, it was my turn to find silver i'm pretty sure i put a claim on this earlier yeah there's my marker right there what did you get 
It's not a Merc, is it? Oh, a stand in Liberty. Now you I don't know, have my glasses on. You know that on. was in his pocket all this time. Woo! I'd like to tell you I Shauna, do that. Oh, oh man. It? I don't have my glasses on. Look how clean on. it is. What year is it? I just, it's silver <laughs> like that. Isn't that weird? I just wiped it off. I've been sitting here wiping. That is so awesome. What year? Uh, well, I got a cataract in my right eye. But can, hold on a second. I got. Well, can we get a high yield silver? Your date is worn off. There it goes. That, they do that. That's on the bottom there. Uh -huh. We've ran that. into them where they. That's my logo. I, I found one of those one ever. Man. Now the question is. Oh, let's see what did. Dropped by a hunter. It could have been. Now, how, how deep did you find it? You're you not see very how deep. deep it was? Oh, it was, well, what is that, about six inches? All right, so we oh, know the, that it had to be after 64. You're not going to get that. And that was carried a long time. You can tell the date on it. Right. pocket wear on You it. can tell that one of the dates on it by the whether how many stars are on the back. Now, this little thing that she's standing on. Mm -hmm. Remember, if that's you, where they quit doing it. If you can't read the date on year. it, if you can't read the date on it, it's probably older. Then the other ones, after a while, they made the date recessed. Mm -hmm. And so the thing she was standing on would Stick take down. the brunt of the wear for a lot of years before it even got to the date. This one's totally gone. Whew. Man, that is cool. That's sweet, man. See, but look, I, there's all them, them beanie Congrats. weenie cans over there. Thanks, man. There's, uh, there's tons of beanie weenie cans. Oh, yeah, I found those. Probably some. Yeah, I was just, I was just went past yeah. those. So I just come creeping through here, and I said, there's a pile of dirt. I was searching. Somebody moved dirt. So I'm, I'm like, I just kept going. As soon as I came, I'm, I'm right where you are, yeah. coming this way, and I, I, I bam. Right I can't there. believe that, David. Hey, look, take your I was, detector. Go over. Is it on? Not yet. Go over this so you know what that sounds like. You get that. It's a ding, ding, ding sound. Remember the numbers. Go back and forth. Well, it looks just, but it looks just okay. like an alcohol jar from a watch. Yeah, what is that, Chris? I said, it looks like I've got several. Be uh, careful, Gary. It'll fall apart. I've got really? several yeah. jars that it's are all pretty fancy. So oh. Some of them have real fancy glass tops, but they would put alcohol in them and watchmakers would use them on their bench. But they're actually, I think, and somebody could correct me on this, but I think they're hair jars for when people, women would brush their hair, they'd pull hair out. Gross. Look at the top, how the design My grandmother on. saved her hair. Everyone knows you're supposed to throw your hair. Well, what is that? Uh, is under the, top, the rug or something. What is, is the top tin or is it silver? Some of those were silver. It, it looks That's camera. plastic. Looks plastic. I don't Wait, think it's plastic. Here, well, look, it's, it's like broke. A, it's maybe yeah, loose side or something. I think it's it's Bakelite. Plate. Yeah, There's Bakelite. Some, an early, like the, like an the old early, radios were. An early okay. form plate. But it's That's cool. cool. That is a, cool a guy plate. the other day found something that, this reminded me of it, sort of, is a mustache cup. Yeah. Uh, but people used to put their shaving cream in I wouldn't in be surprised they didn't use those. For that too, <laughs> you know. Well, that's neat. Yeah, I found that. I figured that'd be pretty cool. Okay. We have had an awesome day. It is very uh, humid. Uh, I think we got some of that Memphis humidity down here today. It's the southern thing. Yeah, it's the southern thing. Anyway, we've had a good time. And I want to thank uh, Curtis. Thank you for that permission that we got. Yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's uh, I should have told you about that. That's a uh, that's called the Whistler, and it's all <laughs> we always like we always like to surprise people. Uh, that's the Whistler, and he's telling us it is time to go to the tailgate and do the wrap up. We, we call the good, the clad, and the ugly. And uh, we have some ugly today, but we have some not ugly too. So we'll see you at the tailgate. All right, and we made it to the truck. It is hot. Uh, we were uh, having a prediction of thunderstorms today. I'm not sure that <laughs> we could have used some of that maybe to cool off. Anyway, we are going to do the wrap-up now. You know it's the good, the clad, and the ugly. And we had uh, no clad today, but we had a bunch of ugly, and we each got a couple of things here to talk about on the good. So I'll let our guest of honor, Curtis, tell us what was in your good category. Uh, the only thing that I found was that axe head. And a lovely and axe head a it is. little piece of rebar. There's a piece of rebar somewhere. It was That was weird. It was a very tiny piece of it. rebar. He's going to keep this and treasure it, so we're going to put it over there. Okay. Ooh, there's lots of bugs out here today. Okay, David, go ahead. Okay, I found, uh, earlier we found, a little, we think it's a spoon handle, we think it's, or a spoon or a 
Yeah. I think it may be a design on that. What we'll I'm gonna clean yeah. up and look and see. I did find some silver today. We mm -hmm. couldn't get a date on it, and we found that right there at the end. Yeah, that's it's got yeah. a lot of pocket wear on yeah, it. Yeah, you're not gonna be able to get that date, I'm sure. You can tell what range it's in, I think, from the stars. At one point they lowered this eagle so they could get more stars up above or something. Yeah, uh -huh. I'll have to go back. It's a, there's type one and type two blah. Blah blah. So, that's cool food. though. And I found this harmonica reed over there by the spring, so I thought okay. that was cool. I was excited about that. Well, that's cool. So we got our trash <laughs> yeah. bottle caps, the Georgia 12 button, which is 12 gauge shotgun. Well, we got another toothpaste thing, and that's yeah, an old toothpaste thing. Yeah, and good. Fun. I had lots of ugly. Uh, this took a while to dig up the big old pipe, some assortment of glass, maybe some horse tack. I don't know. A big old pull tab. I just uh, dominated today, I think, in the tin can lid category. Don't be jealous. I'm not. <laughs> and, and what I'm going to call good, because it'll end up on the fence of fame, I guess, are these things. If you know what these are, tell us what they are. I don't know. Uh, it's funny. I found two of them real close to each other in uh, identical signals, of course, but... Uh, that is that's what we got today we do want to come back as you can see it's kind of it's really wooded and uh, maybe we'll come back in the winter when there aren't uh quite as many leaves and uh, maybe and we've got some more map homework to do too yeah to kind of figure out where this hotel was exactly we found some things we think it's in the right area but we haven't found anything that tells us for sure that we were looking at the end so anyway thank you everybody for coming uh appreciate y'all's time uh, I want to thank Curtis again for uh, getting us the permission, and we will see everybody next time. Bye. Bye-bye.